What's up, YouTube and chili lovers? Anyway, this is King Dennis here with a. Uh, I lost track of which a pepper update yeah, this is. But today is August 25th, 2013. Um, my season kind of got abruptly shortened, or whatever you want to call it, um, due to more or less uh, broad mites. And I also do have spider mites going on. Um, some plants I've pruned and look like they've recovered and ooh, that's a funky looking pot I hope this ripens um, some plants that look like they recovered and some like these guys just doesn't look like it's gonna recover at all um, nonetheless I it's been kind of a disappointing season considering having all these plants you see all these weeds I just plugged out from this area yesterday um, fortunately it was very easy to pull out so anyway uh, some plants are looking like they have life after I prune them uh, so hopefully I can get a, a second wave of peppers this one's a Billy Boy Dougla and you can see this one's a Sepia Serpent nice and green uh, growth uh, hopefully it stays that way and stays unaffected uh, this one is the Savannah seven pot uh, you can see tons of flowers going on there and you see one that's set in nice gnarly shape and has a little stinger kind of brain like shape there so tons of flowers hopefully they set mm, this one's the seven pot bubble gum um, it's fought well with the, the broad mite infestation uh, you can see some calyxes some uh, buds are starting to form and there's your traditional uh, gigantic calyx so hopefully they can pot up again uh, actually you see this one uh, looks like it's already potted up so more bubble gums for everyone uh, brain strain same thing um, lots of new growth but some let's see like this part Still looks brown and infected and I have to quickly prune it before they continue to affect the plant so uh, you can see one pod there the one that I think that has done well is this mustard habanero although you can see it it's starting to finally be affected um, it's still produced and you guys can see this gigantic grasshopper that's just staring at me hiding hopefully hoping that I don't see him I'll leave him alone for now trying to get him this brain strain too has done well um, but it looks like I need some pruning on it so I'll prune it and come back for this grasshopper later uh, also another plant is this peach scorpion it's fought off the disease well and there's maybe about 20 other uh, pods left on here and some buds going on there so Fatali is coming back I pulled off a pod and these guys are coming off with gnarly gnarly shapes and I mean I don't know I think these guys were crossed with something so I like that this one too coming back so far doesn't seem to show any um, signs of damage on the new growth this one's another Fatali this one is my the XO pepper XOXO or we can just call it XO for short I pruned it yesterday and some cool shapes uh, I want this to to ripen it's a nice square shape still got a few pods in there my unknown pepper you can see this one is still greatly affected leaf curls and you can see the browning on the root on the stem and it goes to all the way here so I may decide to cut it off because it'll affect this and I don't want it to spread further further down uh, so yeah second life to some of these peppers I've done a lot of trimming uh, in the weeds and dug in the center and gotten rid of a lot of unnecessary vegetative vegetation so that's these guys here still able to harvest a pot or two which I'll take you know some people are in the west or whatever and the midwest and then the colder areas are struggling 
and may end their season already. My golden zucchini doesn't look like it's really doing that much, so I may pull it out. So I can put this tarp over and just kill whatever else is here. This pepper I have yet to pot it up. This is a, cho a chocolate scorpion. You can see it started off really good, looking like this nice new growth, but you can see it's just wilting. Death. So I'm gonna go ahead and start snapping off all the new growth that's on here again in hopes to have another recovery. This is doing well. This is a bell pepper, but you can see it's filled with something very fuzzy. I don't know what this is. Spider mites? I don't know. Carolina Reaper right there. And you can see here's my SBJ7. Uh, I moved it to this 15 gallon and that's when it did its worst and got some wilt on top of it and it's got some spider mites going on so I need to dispose of this real quick before it continues to spread to the next plants. Uh, some more of my other plants over here. Purple boot that never did anything. The chocolate habanero. Got some cucumbers still growing on there. You can see. This blueberry or blackberry has not done anything all season. Oh, look at that. Nice lush uh, lemon pepper. Ahi limon. Right next to the black cobra. You can see the okras are also starting to grow. Ugh. Star fruit. And so there's a couple other peppers there. Over there in that blue is the bubblegum 7 I pruned out and see. Hoping it can get second life and start to pot up this time. Uh, there's a beetle pepper. And all these guys are starting to recover, but then these guys have spider mites, so I have to spray them with neem oil in hopes to try to get it to recover without any mites. Got some more other peppers here. This one's the Naga Viper. I got one pot on there. Hoping to get a few more buds to set. Trinidad Congo has not really done much. It's got about four, four pods. But as far as leaves, this guy's not been a healthy guy, but it's it's surviving, so can't say much more than that. Uh, JSP Scorpion, uh, Chocolate Boot, and Pepper Lover is White Habanero. Or not White Habanero, White Boot. Red Inca, not looking too well, too good, so I'll prune these. New growth. Crispy. Wow, it must have been hot. So, this one is a reaper. Had a couple flowers on here, but it fell off, so. Some more plants that are trying to recover. Bay leaf. My miracle fruit. It's got a couple buds there. Hopefully it can set fruit. And these guys, these are my plants that are doing better. Ramon, this is your... Uh, J.A. Habs, Jamaican Habs. Uh, no leaves, but it'll get there. This is my not chocolate scotch bonnet that turned out to be yellow, orangey, scorp like. It's got a couple pods, and again, I'm trying to set some flowers to, to get going. So these guys are trying to recover. And the greenhouse, I cleaned it up, and you can see it was a little too hot for this guy in here. But these pots are really heavy, so I'm trying to get them. To dry up so it doesn't wilt. My plumeria finally set some roots. My Bridget Lakoto has never gotten any taller. It's maybe about three feet or so and gotten a few pods off of that. And these guys are just trying to recover. Those guys are full of uh, spider mites so I'll just probably toss those. And that is my garden. Uh, all these dogs tearing things apart. And last but not least, before I cut this, 
here is the MOA Scotch Bonnet, Ministry of Agriculture's Jamaican Scotch Bonnets. They don't look as green as I want it to be, but I gotta add the aero nutrients in here again. Brazilian Ghost and Chocolate Marugo. The rest are all Jamaican Scotch Bonnets, so hopefully I can get those guys to get bigger. Alright, guys, take it easy. So this is the second section of my grow. This is the Jamaican Scotch Bonnet that's really, really done well to fight off whatever bug that I've had all season. A um, lot less leaves now. I, I had sprayed some uh, dishwash soap because of uh, the aphids, but it seems like the aphids have gone away. So that's looking good. I'm really happy with that. But I have one lone flower there. And when I touched it yesterday, it had a lot of, lot of uh, pollen. So hopefully, it can stay. Uh, these are my possibly um, butch tea orange. Uh, some people are very verbal on it, saying that it's more or less gonna turn red real quick after a while. So hoping it doesn't turn red. This one hasn't recovered, but it's heavy, so it's not a good sign. And these are the ones from Sean's Plants, Pepper Lover, or I'm sorry, Pepper Problem. They're doing well. These are, I believe, what we believe are the Marugas and the Brain Strings. Uh, so, this one needs some water. More of the Butch Tea Cross. See, these ones really look orange to me. I'm hoping they stay orange. Here's the first one that... Really orange. Really bright orange, like pumpkin orange. So, the shapes definitely resemble the butch tea. So, that's the pods on this plant. Uh, a couple more plants that are showing the colors and the shapes. So, I, I'm, I'm getting second life with these guys up here in the front. I'm trying to keep them far away from the damages, damaged plants in the back. So this one's getting a lot bigger. Lots of buds and flowers but none have set it's been a little bit warmer than what I've wanted but these guys get a little bit of morning and then a lot of afternoon sun so hopefully I can get a new wave second wave of plants alrighty guys appreciate you guys watching some veggies right there take it easy